Hi everyone, this is Peter from PS Sound and uh, I thought to introduce this car to you. Um, yes, we have worked on this car before, you might have seen, but I haven't uploaded anything onto YouTube. It's, it's a beautiful setup in this Audi TT Mark I. Earlier we installed this Acoustic Elegance 15 inch sub in infinite buffle. This manifold fires to the back of the car under the bumper. It looks like a sealed box, but it's not. So quickly I'll introduce you what we deal with at the moment, but things are going to change drastically here in the next week. So we have a three-way active front end. I show that a little bit later with a front sub and this rear, let's call it infra sub, similarly just like in my Honda. We have two DLS TA2s and uh, those beautiful tube amps running uh, the tweeters and the widebands. Then we have another DLS um, A5 3 channel running the mid bass and the front sub, and an A6 running the rear sub. We will have to do something with that beautiful panel that comes from an old competitor. Nige, cheers for that. We will do something nice with that. And power distribution has to be sorted. It's, it's okay, but yeah, we will see what, what we do with it. What's up front? There's a Dyna audio, the Azotar mid bass up front using the door. There are certain issues with it, so we will have to look at that at some point and change the install. Let's turn the music down just a touch. So, what we have up here, we have the Audible Physics NZ3 LB uh, aluminium beryllium cone wide bands, three inch wide bands built into the A pillar. And the RAM 1A tweeters just to do the very fine top end. The NZ3 could run tweeterless, really, um, but. He is a really audiophile and home hi-fi uh, enthusiast and I was just like, you know, let's put the tweeters in, we will see whether they give anything a bit more air. And yeah, they they do the trick and it's, it's lovely. And then we have the Pioneer P90 currently running as a CD player with the DAC in the back. And we added the FIO, let's turn it on. And I might have just switched the music off. And we have the FIO X5 third generation player currently linked into the P90, but we are going to change it with the Helix DSP Pro so the FIO high res player can run into the Helix processor directly. And then we have no link and digital to analog conversion and back into digital again. It's going to be direct digital straight into the processor. And yeah, we also have a 10 inch front sub in the glove box that you cannot see right now because it's trim black. Everything is black in this car. And uh, yeah, that just disappears. That does a great job. So yeah, this is the setup currently. This week's project is going to be finishing the boot. We uh, will test the FI IB3 15 V2, <laughs> the, the FI version um, for infinite buffer application and see what the difference is. And um, yeah, we rebuild the boots with nice panels, lights, we integrate the processor and do a few more bits. So yeah, stay tuned. If you like what you've seen, guys, please subscribe. And yeah, just comment. Feel free to comment. I, I can't emphasize how important it is. I'm really interested in what you think. If you have any questions, just drop a line, whether here in YouTube or Facebook, whatever. Just drop me a line. I'm, I'm really interested. So yeah, let's have fun. Take care.